Where's Wilbur? Do you know? Touch your knees and touch your nose. Where's Wilbur? Do you know? Wilbur is so very kind. Wilbur is a friend of mine. Wilbur, Wilbur, come out and play. You can hide another day. Wilbur! Wilbur! Hi, boys and girls. This is Marshall the Monkey, and I'm here with another great Wilbur story. This time, Wilbur is an astronaut. Wombats like to go out at night and see stars high in the sky. They watch the moon and the planets and see shooting stars go by. Every now and then, they see a blip of light fly through. The space station is up there with astronauts as crew. Wilbur wants to be an astronaut and fly up there in space. His mom says she is too afraid to have him in that place. But Wilbur has been training. Yesterday, he climbed a tree. He wanted to go up real high to see what he could see. His mom is right. It's scary there, so high above the ground. He was hoping other wombats would help him get back down. He knew that little wombats couldn't go to astronaut school, so Wilbur built his own rocket. That is pretty cool. He found a box of cardboard and markers so he could write. He drew and cut with scissors, and he worked with all his might. Pretty soon he had a spaceship with a window for his head. A wombat rocket, super cool, with Wilbur's name in red. Next he made a helmet with two places for his eyes. He went to get his mom so he could show her his surprise. Mom, this is my spaceship. I'm going to fly it to the moon. Be safe, she said. I'll miss you. Be sure to come back soon. Wilbur climbed into his spaceship. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off into outer space. Wilbur the astronaut had fun. As Wilbur flew around the Earth, his tummy had an empty feel. So the astronaut landed safely and joined his family for a meal. Did you like that, boys and girls? What would your rocket look like? What would you take with you on your trip to space? What have you pretended to do? Talk to mom, dad, or your friends about it. Hi, boys and girls. This is Bill from Science Alive. He bringing Ginger. Is Ginger active in the night or the day? Well, that's a good question. Animals that come out at nighttime are called nocturnal. So bats are nocturnal and wolves are nocturnal. They sleep in the daytime, they come out at night. And two-fingered sloths like ginger, they're nocturnal. They like to sleep and rest during the day and they're mostly active at night, climbing about. That's when they look for their food. Um, the three-fingered sloth, though, the other kind of sloth, they come out in the daytime. So you could have a two-fingered sloth and a three-fingered sloth living in the same tree and they might not even see each other because a two-fingered sloth comes out at night and when the three-fingered sloth is sleeping and then the three-fingered sloth comes out in the daytime when the two-fingered sloths are sleeping. So this type is called nocturnal and that means a nighttime sloth, a nighttime animal. That's a good question too. Like it. Pretty cool. If you want to learn more about Reading with Wilbur, check out our website. Thank you, boys and girls. I'm, I'm glad to have you watching my show. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.